So let's try two cis pi on three times three cis pi on six. Oops, that was meant to be a six. So because I'm given numbers in complex numbers in polar form, I'm going to answer in polar form unless they tell me otherwise, because it's very easy to do this. Multiply the moduluses, moduli, moduli, something like that, six, and add the arguments. What's pi on three plus pi on six? Uh, that turns out to be pi on two. And that's as simple as it gets. Let's try another one. Five cis pi on two times two cis five pi on six. Okay, multiply the two moduli, moduli, something like that, and add the two arguments. Pi on 2 plus 5 pi on 6. This may not be quite as easy to see. Pi on 2 in sixths is 3 pi on 6 plus 5 pi on 6, which is 3 and 5 is 8 pi on 6, which I can simplify as 4 pi on 3. But there's still a problem here. 4 pi on 3 is bigger than pi. And my principal argument, the one I give as my answer by, by convention, just like simplifying fractions, or simplifying thirds for that matter, by convention I want to always give the principal argument between negative pi and pi. So 4 pi on 3 has actually gone around to 1 pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3. It's actually down here. So I want to give this angle instead, which is negative 2 pi on 3. By convention, give the principal argument within pi up to negative pi from 0. Let's try a division. 4 cis 2 pi on 3 are divided by 2 cis pi on 6. Okay, so we're going to divide the moduluses 4 over 2. I'll actually write it even though I probably don't need to. And subtract the arguments. 2 pi on 3 minus pi on 6. Well, that's 2. 4 over 2 is 2. 2 pi on 3 minus pi on 6. If you can't see that, I mean, I can draw a quick diagram for you. That's saying 2 thirds minus a sixth. I'm going to get back to pi on 2. Or you can get your calculator and ask it for 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. Don't worry about the pi. 2 thirds minus 1 sixth. And it will give you a half. So you go cis of a half pi, pi on 2.